everyone, it's me, Miss Branch, the art teacher. And today we are going to draw some seals. Now, this is a seal that I normally draw with the little kids, but because you guys are older, I decided to try in my hand at an otter and a seal with more details because you guys are older. So I think you can handle drawing in a few more details versus this little happy, um, how do I call it, an easier um, seal. There's not much deep, but much different. This one I decided to um, expand the eyes and give more whiskers that, um, that you actually see on the seal. And let me share my screen and you can see what I'm talking about. So over here, you can see where the whiskers here, we probably refer to them as eyebrows and more whiskers here. And on this one, you can see the rows and rows of these little dots on the face where the whiskers are coming out. And you can see the eye actually is more shaped like our eyes and not just little circles. I thought about working on the nostrils after I looked at this one, but then I thought that looked kind of weird. So I, I decided not to do that one. Here's another one. And let's see, let's go back to the other one that I was drawing. Oh, this one looks cute. Now uh, see the puffiness in the cheeks and the little mouth. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm gonna pause. So as you can see, we can st stop here, which would be easy and quick. And, or because you are older and have a little more um, skills, we can add in some more details. And I'm gonna let you decide where you wanna stop when we start drawing our seals. So let me pin my other screen on my camera right here above me. Let's see, replace pin, there we go. And I'm gonna have, let's see, my more detailed seal here and the less detailed one right here. So you as the artist get to choose. And I like to use crayons with this one versus markers. I mean, you could use markers, but the crayons afford you to add in a little bit more color than with markers. Well, mainly because uh, the markers are limited in, in colors. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now I'll draw with the Sharpie to make sure you guys um, can see what we're doing. All right, let's see. So the seal is gonna be in the foreground. So it's gonna be bigger than anything in the background, whether it's the sun, the mountains, or even the water that's far away. So this is gonna be the biggest thing here. And what I'm gonna do is more like an upside down U. Oops, I said. All right, so somewhere near the bottom of my paper because it's close, I'm gonna draw a big upside down U. And now inside that U, I'm gonna go ahead and add two circles for the eyes, one over here and one over here. And from the pictures, we could see that Seal's eyes were very dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. And I like to color in by just doing straight lines. Now, I'm gonna add in this a little bit curved parts like, uh, like it was a human eye. Because from the pictures, we could tell their eyes were really a lot like ours, really more football shape than just a circle. So there's my first added details. And of course, you don't have to do this part if, that, if you choose to keep it a little more simple. Now for the nose, I'm gonna come down a little bit in between and add a curved line for the top of the nose. And then I'm gonna bring in more like a V for the start, like a V like that. And it curves in a little bit on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and co color that in. Now, when it comes to the cheeks area around the seal, now I did my, uh, my curve line out 
but I gave it more of a curve than I did with this one. This one's more like a letter J. This one, I'm going to curve it a little more. And I'm going to come this way. And I'm going to curve that a little more. And then here, I'm just going to kind of fill that in. I'm going to go ahead and color that in a bit as the way I just did the mouth. And so a little bit of opening. And now I can put some rows of little, I guess they would be pores where the hairs come out. So I did some rows right there. And some rows there. I'm not going to use all of them, just a few of them, just to give the impression. And right above the eye, I'll add a couple there. One, two, three, two, three. And a few there. And they don't have to be the same size. And there I have given my seal a little more detail than I did on this one. So now I'm going to add in the water. Now I'm going to just make a wavy line and kind of curve where the neck would be. And then just do some more wavy lines. Let the wavy lines crisscross, kind of looking like waves. And then beside it, I'll do a few more. Now I'm going to go work on my background. And what I'm going to do is create kind of like a horizon line for the water, where the water and the land meets. And then I'm going to use the mountains to make a horizon line for the sky. So there's just not a flat horizon line. So there's the sky. Here's our water. And since there's water so far away, I'm just going to do little teeny waves. And as I get closer to the seal, my waves will get bigger. And so then, let's see, well, my mountains, with these mountains, I showed the kids how to just make a letter M. And then I told them that they could just make a shaky M. Now, you don't have to do it that easily. I mean, you can, you can do it that easily, like an M and make a mountain. Or you can give it some character and more of zigzaggy lines or a zigzaggy M. That's not the same size on both sides, but you get the idea. So now I have some land, I have some water, and now we're ready to color. All right, so I'm gonna move these guys out of the way, and I'll bring them back when I wanna talk about like when I'm adding in the light and dark areas, if you wanna add in some shadows, or if you wanna make it look kind of realistic, or you can just color it all one color. Now for my seal, I'm gonna go, because I have more choices with my crayons, I'm gonna go with this dark brown, this lighter brown, and maybe some peach, and this orangish kind of looking brown, which is actually a metallic color. But what I'm gonna do is go around where the eyes were, like in the picture of the seal. And you can always bring up pictures of seals on your um, Chromebook, once you start coloring, so you can get an idea of where you want to add your color. So now I have my light areas. Now I'm going to go in around those circles. And right now I'm just coloring lightly to fill in quickly. And of course I can go back in after I finish and add some darker tones by pressing harder with the crayons. And seeing that they, they face kind of like sits out like a dog. And so one of the reasons why they're probably called the the uh, um, pups of the sea. I'm gonna add a little more shading down here and this is called an overhang shadow because you're, you're, yeah, it actually conforms one with your chin when it creates a shadow on your neck because your face kind of overhangs a little bit. Or like if there was a cliff, 
I'm gonna go ahead and color it in between these lines a little bit. To help create my circles around the eyes. And I'm gonna kind of zigzag it a little bit and do some layers because seals actually have fur. So by zigzagging my crayons, I can actually give it a little more details to make it look a little bit realistic. And now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my lighter brown and color in those areas around the eyes. And right here on the cheeks. A little bit underneath, just a little bit. So that kind of helped to give a little realistic. You know, it's still kind of looking cartoonish. So now, let's see what kind of sun am I putting a setting sun? Am I doing a rising sun? It's totally up to you, but I'm going to just put this sun high up in the uh, sky. Just do a little circle. And one way to make perfect circles is just to rotate lightly with your pencil point or your crayon point touching your paper. And I'm going to come in and color that over that with some yellow. And then go back over with some more orange, kind of blending these wax in together. And then I'm just going to make it a big bright day. Mm. So because I colored in all this orange, it's early morning, because by noon, the blue of the sky is there. And by me adding in all this orange, and now, yes, I'm coloring lightly. I probably need to color a little darker because I'm seeing that it's not really showing up on the screen. Let me bring the arm down a little bit on the camera. Yeah, I can see that a little better. Let me do some on this side. I'm just going to color it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to use this orange. You know how it's bright in the morning. You got to cover your eyes. You're riding down the road because the sun is right in your eyes. So that's why I'm going with this orange and this yellow. So it's bright early morning. Now, because the sun is back here, I'm gonna add in a few little details of my mountain so I can add in some shading and some color here. So I'm just gonna add little zigzag lines from the points. Kind of like give it a little bit more um, three-dimensional feel to it with just, with just these little zigzaggy lines or bumpy lines, however you have you. And what I can do, I can say that the sun is coming this way. So I'm going to use these two greens. I'm going to use a lighter green and a darker green. So the side that's closest to the sun, it's going to be my lighter color because the sun is right on it. And then the part that is away from the sun, I'm going to color that darker green to show the shadow a little bit. And I can blend those colors together a little bit too. And so this would be this way is the darker side. And this side would be the brighter side and kind of switching over. I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole part, the brighter side. And now this side is gonna become the darker side. This is kind of like in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Because here's my light source. 
light source. The light source side is always the lightest, whereas the side away from the light is cast in shadow. So now I'm going to color this the lighter green for my mountains. And you know what? I'm going to go back in my water. And I've done my mountains. I'm going to add in, make these circles continue with the sun. So it's shining on my water. And I'm going to come back in with some orange. And now let me find a blue. Let's see, it's a light blue. What is this? This is a Cruellen blue. And what's that one? I want sky blue. Another sky blue, Dif different wrapping paper. And what's this one? A Pacific blue, interesting. Probably a dark blue, kind of. All right, well, I've got a few blues here. What is this? What is this? Is this regular blue? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna use these blues to make my water. Now, in art, whatever is closest to you is going to be the darkest and the and um the boldest colors. Whereas everything that gets further away from you is lighter, and that's called atmospheric perspective. So, with atmospheric perspective, the things that are further away from me is going to be the lightest. So, even though I have this orange down here, I'm just going to quickly lay down some light blue in my background, because the further away from you, the lighter it gets. And so now I'm gonna go switch to, I guess this, this Cruellen blue. It gets a little darker in my middle ground. I'm gonna let it overlap a little bit with that light blue. So they kind of blend together. So I'm gonna come down with this Cruellen blue. Then I'm gonna go to this true blue or blue, blue, and bring that down some more. And then right here at the bottom, let me try this specific blue. Ah, uh, yeah, it's darker than regular blue. Well, I'm sorry, I'm out of the screen, everyone. Let me move this extra piece of paper from underneath me so that I'm not coloring on that one. Now, I've been coloring lightly, but now what I'm gonna do is follow the lines I drew by pressing down harder. Help create some waves. I'm gonna bring a little of that back here in my regular blue. I'm gonna switch to my blue. I'm gonna switch to my light blue. So make some waves, some wavy lines. Doesn't have to be perfect, can kind of be scribbly. If you're the artist, and I see I missed some spots right here in this mountain. So I'm gonna go back on that. And I missed some spots here. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see. I think I want to add in some more yellow sun. Really make my water. And some more orange in there. So that it's really on there. Shining on that water. And because, you know, the seal is east right here. I think I'm gonna go back in with that Cruellen blue and make this area a little darker in front of the seal because his head is blocking the light from the sun. So I'm quite sure that would create a shadow on the water. So I'm gonna make that area right in front of the seal just a little darker because he's creating a shadow. And so now, as I was telling you guys, you guys are a little bit older, so you can add in a little bit more details and you, you understand them better sometimes than little kids. That's why I'm doing a little bit more with you guys. And again, 
totally up to you. You could have stuck and said, oh, no, I'm going to do just the bare minimum. Well, when I did this with them, I did talk about making this one darker and coloring lighter up here. And then I just had the uh, light of my um, of uh, the sunrise come just through between these two mountains. And I um, only outlined it darker with the color. But this one, we want to step further and added light areas and the dark areas based on where the sun was. And again, lighter water in the back, medium, foreground, darker. And I created a little shadow where my seal is to help try and give it a more realistic feel. And I also did some little zigzags with the um, brown to make it look like fur. And I did more detail in the cheeks than I did on this one. So you guys have choices to make. You can make it easy, peasy, one, two, three, curve, dot, dot, triangle, J, J, whisker, whiskers and letter M's for the mountains. Or you can give it a little more de details, whiskers for the eyes, get a little light brown around the eyes and the um, cheeks area. And there you go. So everyone, let me unpin my video. Here, let me move them out of the way. So let's see. So, as we were learning how to draw a seal, I will seal you later. <laughs> That's my corny jokes. I know you do. All right, everyone. So we're going to stop here and I will see you next step.